I guess we'll count it down. Okay, three, yep. two, one. Shoot, hold on. Okay. Three, three two, two, one. One. It's fine. It'll be we'll fine. Figure it out. We'll figure we'll it fi- out. We'll fi- you'll be fine. Hello, everybody. We're finally back with another, uh, another Rankum, you know? You gotta do it across the coast because, you know, COVID's killing us all, right, Brian? <laughs> that is, yes, it is very true. Um, you know, Kevin came to me with this wonderful idea, and I... I know, thought- and before you, before you get to it, I just, you know, it was a long day at work. I was coming home tired and hungry, and I noticed, you know, on the way home, you know, just to convenient uh you know burger place so I, I stopped and had a little bit of a uh, little bit of this you know but don't don't worry i i finished the food on the way here because you know i'm not the kind of person that will like you know just eat in front of my friends and you know not share anything right you know anyway i was just thinking about how um you know how much you know i love fast food and all that i'm just got thinking man you know wouldn't that be a a great i a great idea for um you know, rank them video. That's obviously, you know, not what we're going to do today, right? And something for the future. But, you know, you know better than I do what we're going to do today, Brian. So, um, why don't you go ahead and lead us off there? Uh, okay, that's a really good intro. So, watch as me and the cri- uh, food critic from Ratatouille over there discuss high class food quality. Yes, we're, we're not talking about the melting pot. We're not talking about Benihana, you know? We're not talking about anything mm-hmm. that costs you an arm. And a leg. We're talking about fast food, people. Cheap, fast food. Because that's probably all we've been eating. These right. are our top 10 fast food places. It works differently than the Kanye and Star Wars video where we don't have specifics. Like, it's just whatever Kevin and I think are top 10 food places. It's not like you guys are going to predict what number 10 through one is going to be our bottom. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. This might give you an idea of places to go to. Um, and yeah, because I don't know if there's places that you guys haven't been to, but yeah, clearly the best two people to talk about food are us because apparently we're like, I don't know, foodies or something. Like, I uh-huh. don't know, are we that qualified? Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. So Whatever. Like. So, okay, is there anything you need to get off your chest before we just go into it, before we tell the people? I don't really have anything to get off of my chest, but I know definitely what's going in my chest. Which is just fatty acids and salt and artery-clogging goodness. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Yes, so without further ado, let's get into this and hope that Kevin doesn't have a heart attack or anything. So, we are going to start with our bottom. Again, this isn't okay. like bad, like it's still in our top 10, so it's here. Number 10, I feel like it's a very ironic thing um, because this location shares the same initials as me, and that is, you guessed it, Holy crap, what am, what's going on right now? It's cutting to another video, yes, because by the time we were done shooting this and by the time I just rediscovered an amazing fast food, I decided that I would change it from Burger King, which was my number 10, which, spoiler, it's not in it. But now my new number 10 is Culver's. If you haven't been to Culver's, go to Culver's. It's great, their food is fresh. It is so, so good. Their milkshakes are quality. Their chicken tenders. Their chicken tenders, very A plus. But yes, sorry Burger King. You're, I guess you're bumped down to 11, but yes, Culver's, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry that I haven't, that I didn't put you on the list. I didn't respect you enough. But yes, Culver's is the new number 10. So, sorry Kevin, you have to edit this in. Okay, let's go back. Okay, well, I kind of used my number 10 for a different spin. So my number 10 is Chipotle. Mainly as an excuse for me to rip on Chipotle. Because on, I don't know don't why the, the heck Chipotle girls, is this the, popular. The white girls are going to come to the comments and they're going to destroy you, my dude. They are They ready. can come. They can bring their pumpkin spice lattes and Chipotle with them to the comment section because I no. don't get what is so popular about Chipotle. Kevin wants I've all the I've been to Chipotle. Smoke. 
I have been to Chipotle twice in my life. Both instances were so forgettable that I don't even remember what I got. You go in there and it's all, Oh, it's your paleo, it's all healthy for you, and you know, it's status symbol by eating at Chipotle. I swear to you, I just needed skin tight jeans, a beanie, and a handlebar mustache, and the pretentious hipster trifecta would have been complete. I don't know, I don't know why everyone raves about Chipotle. It's not that good food. <laughs> so, Chipotle, um, at Chipotle, if you have something to say, come get Kevin wants all the smoke. <laughs> well, we're certainly not going to be sponsored by Chipotle after this. Chipotle so. is not a sponsor of this. No. Hey, I just pick mine like less of the best. He literally just wanted to go ham on a place. So, hey, tomato, potato. <clears throat> Am I right? But it can, it can, well, I mean, it can only go up from here. That's, that's right. And speaking of going up from here, I'm going to move on to my number nine, which I think, honestly, looking at my list right now, this is easily going to be the most judged spot, I think, on my list. And you're going to see why. Because number nine is, in my opinion, one of the grimiest, but also low-key, like, what what's the word? Guilty pleasures. This place is never packed. There's barely anyone there. I, I watched a whole video about how this place is low-key a place that launders money for marijuana. <laughs> and it's it's a great it is a great conspiracy video and that is seafood restaurant long john silvers <laughs> <laughs> a laundering fit for marijuana long yes. john silvers it was hey I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it but hey you guys are gonna hate me because you're gonna be like really brian like this is this is literally in your top 10. I'm not going to front. I like their shrimp. And hey, if I could eat their hush puppies for the rest of my life, I would totally do it because their hush puppies slap. But other than that, yeah, I mean, I like them. I'm sorry. We're going to die at some point. I might as well enjoy food that I like. But yes, I like If you're going to have the McDonald's of seafood, yeah, go with Long John Silver's. So yes, please put all your hateful comments in the description. And Long John Silver's, if you're watching this, I love you guys. You're the best. Okay, so moving on from that. Number eight is a restaurant that has like seven different names pretty much, but it's really, it's only two. I'm just being over the top. And that is Checkers slash Rallies. I'm a, Ooh, I'm a, I'm a big, go. I'm a big fan of them. It, it's one of those places what, that like, if I'm around, cause it's like out of the way. So mm -hmm. if I like go there ever, it's like a special occasion sort of thing. Their flavor is just very different with all their stuff. Like it just definitely has such a different taste. And I mean, their fries are the one of the most talked about things ever. Like everyone talks about them like that. They have these funnel cake fries, which I know you're like, what the hell is that? They're basically little funnel cake fries, but they have powdered sugar on them. Man, can you say diabetes? Whoop, whoop. Diabetes. Diabetes. Anyways, um, number seven is another hamburger establishment because, yes, this is fast food. We had this conversation, Kevin mm -hmm. and I, and we have settled on all these places legitimately being fast food. That is five guys. Five guys. Uh, if yes. you don't have if you don't have one near you, find one near you because five guys is one of the most transformative things you'll ever have happen in your life. They're simple. They have barely anything on the menu. So that means you know everything they make has to be A+. Plus, and it's great. Best part of it is if you get a thing mm -hmm. of french fries, you get a whole shit ton of them. And then they pour like a bunch more into the bag. Because they... Yes. I remember the first time we went to Five Guys with my dad. We were like, can we get a small fry? We didn't realize small fry meant the whole freaking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, we they... were shocked. We couldn't finish them all. There's yeah, so many they, fries. They go, they go all out there. They go all out. The Cajun fries there, they're really good. Their food is always made fresh too. Like their fries and their hamburgers, so it's always like you know you're gonna get fresh stuff when you go there. I also love how they have the uh, the boxes of peanuts that you can crack and munch on while you're waiting for your food to be I'm, done. Uh, yeah. When when were these ever here? Like, did they just mysteriously <laughs> yeah. show up? But yeah, five guys. Chef's kiss. Do you agree, Chef's kiss? Yes. Mm. Right. Even but Chef yeah. Boyardee oh. endorses it. Ooh, and he's and not like even. That. He's not even on the same brand. I was gonna say you did that little moan after that was hot. Anyways, uh, 
That was my 9th through 7. Kevin, can you do your 9th through 7 before I lose my mind? I can absolutely do my 9th through 7. But just hold on to your mental faculties here because we're in for quite a selection. Number 9. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to call it the second worst place on this list. And that's Jimmy John's. Once again, Jimmy John's. I don't know what is so great about Jimmy John's. Quiznos is better than Jimmy John's. I don't... They don't even toast their subs at Jimmy John's. Yo, that my man just... That is an automatic fail right there. My man just said Quiznos is better than Jimmy John's. Please, if you guys can name me five Quiznos subs that are still in business in the comments below, I will personally give you a $100 gift card to wherever you want to go. Anyways, continue. <laughs> but, yeah, like, one, yeah, they don't even toast their subs... They have barely any selections you can pick from to make them with. And and I went there recently just to try them again, and they're like little baguette little thingies. Subway has more meat in it. As far as they go, Jimmy John's is the most inferior sub place I've ever been to in my life. And once Yo. again, I don't know why they're popular with everybody. It's a disappointment every time I go. Every time I have gone, which is, you know, Dang. not a lot. Boom, man, that's that's heat that Kevin is bringing. Okay, yes. so is your is your number eight something that you're not going to complain about? I'm not going to complain about it, no. Okay. Uh, wow. Number eight is Jack in the Box. Okay, so that's a, that's a regional thing. We don't got Jack in the Box here in Michigan. So what happened the first time you've gone to a Jack in the Box since you moved? Your life has changed. No, I guess <laughs> Jack in the Box, it's not, it's not bad. But it's also not, like, stand out good. It's just, yeah. Is it, like, a good go-to for you, like Burger King is for me? Like, if there's nothing else that sounds good, you're like, eh, Jack in the Box. J is Jack fine. in the Box is only good for me to go if I get, like, those coupons in the mail. You know how sometimes yeah. you'll get, like, restaurant coupons, like all the clip ones? I will really only go to Jack in the Box if I get, like, Jack in the Box coupons in the mail. They're, like, two for five bucks or whatever. I'm pretty sure in the vlog where it was you, me, and Alan, I'm pretty sure you went to Jack in the Box and you legit said because you got coupons. <laughs> I got this, got this nice Jack in the Box coupon. A yeah, two for five ultimate cheeseburger. How do you pass this gold up? Literally, the only time I'll ever go to Jack in the Box is if I have a coupon. And also because it's literally right down the street. I don't go to Jack in the Box for the quality of the food, really. I mean, it's passable. Like, there's nothing really to complain about, but it's also, I would not put it high up. Yeah. Excuse me, I would not put it high up on my fast food list, because it's just, it's, yeah. Number seven, ironically, because I remember this because I have gone here with you, uh, number seven is checkers slash rallies. Oh my god, when did we go there? We went a couple times when we were in film school. Yes, we did. It was like a, you walk we up. Went... It's like you walk up. To, it's like a walk up stand. You go in. And I remember we went out. It was like uh, on Rochester Road or something. It wasn't that far from MPI. Oh, okay. I do remember and I don't because I was like, I do remember there was one day where I'm like, hey, I'm going to get lunch. Do you want to come with me? And you're like, sure. And that's when we went to Checkers because I forgot because I was like, when do we ever go to Checkers together? But yes, the best thing I remember about them was I really love their patty melt so much that I would get like two of them every time. Oh, wow. Just their patty melts were just so good. So, wow, I, I, I introduced you to Checkers. That's so sweet. I know, Dude. and I'm sad that there's none out here. Like, Checkers, oh get your franchise out west, man. Yeah, Checkers is a good go-to. It good. is, so just, and just, yeah, they were kind of like, I wouldn't call them Greasy Spoon, but they were definitely like, the grease factor was just enough to where you were yeah, satisfied they, with what you got. Yeah, they are pretty And I think the only thing I got were the patty melts. I'm just like, like burgers, I'm a patty melt guy. And they, they were pretty memorable for me to remember checkers. I'm going to so. have to make sure then the next time you're over here in town, like when everything's not as crazy, I should totally just take you to checkers then. I need to, yes, I need to remember Yes, relive old now. times. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. okay. That is my 9 one. through 7. Yep. That is your 9 through 7. That is really good. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my 6 through 4, and we're going to move to, um I don't know, if this is um, giving you any hints, what number six is, I'm a guy that runs really fast. 
and had a big movie come out this year. Oh, Sonic. Yes. No, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to kill Sonic the Hedgehog and eat him. I'm talking about the play Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, six. I remember Sonic. I'm a big fan of Sonic. Yeah. Their drinks, their milkshakes, their onion rings. Again, I am an onion ring connoisseur. You have a good place with onion rings. Holla at your boy. I love them. I love how, like, there's a sweet factor to Sonic. And I just love the whole, like, old style, like, you go up. You order your food. The person comes out, brings your food. I like that style. Um, yeah, that the the car side delivery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sonic again is one of those places where, like you were saying, the closest one to me is by like a mall. And like if that is so, mm -hmm. like if there's ever a time where I'm like, you know what, Sonic sounds good, I get Sonic because I'm a I'm a big fan of Sonic. That became kind of the place where old well ex old friends of mine and I would hang out like in high school instead of like uh. Coney Island, we'd go to like, hey, let's go to Sonic and get food and just hang out. So that brought a lot of memories too. So, um, but yes, yeah, so number five, in my opinion, I think it's the only thing that fits for fast food in this department, and it's pizza. And okay. yes, we are talking about a Michigan staple here, and that is, as I like to call it, little skeezers, aka <laughs> little Caesars. Um, you know, get a five dollar oh. um hot and sweaty or a six dollar <laughs> extra most wettest. Uh, <laughs> Costa, Costa from Costa's Cottage knows what's up with that. Um, but yeah, I did like he come up with those names? Yeah, him and I have come up with those names. Like we, I told him I called it Little Skeezers. <laughs> little little Skeezy. <laughs> but yeah, Little Skeezers. Here's the thing: when I go to a good one, their crazy bread is one of the greatest things in the world. Their Italian cheese bread is one of the greatest things in the world. Hot and ready, I like. Mm -hmm. I like the deep dish. Little Skeezers, you guys are great. And you guys are cheap pizza, but you know, yeah, I think it tastes good for the price you're paying for it. And again, it's quick. And and, it's and again, yeah, if you're if you got an upset stomach from Michigan pizza, the best Michigan remedy is, is Verner's. Verner's, that's right. You just so. drink some Verner's and gone. Screw Pepto Bismol. Who needs that pink and, crap? Wait, and what was that? And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though. That we're, I was just talking about my stomach ulcer because at number four, it's a place that I ate at quite a lot okay. when I had to barely eat like hard food and like get something nutritious. And that is the wonderful world of Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I get the Jetty Punch with a little bit of ginger in it. Here's the thing. Too much ginger is disgusting. Just enough. Oh, it yeah. helps your stomach. It's a strawberry banana smoothie with ginger in it. So good. And it's like, it tastes so good. And the thing that I like, like, I like Smoothie King too. Smoothie King is more of a southern chain that's a little bit more here in Michigan. The reason why I like Tropical Smoothie more is I feel like Smoothie King tastes more of like a, like, it's more of kind of like a fruity drink in a way. Like, it tastes more of like when you drink it, it tastes like kind of a slushy, whereas Tropical Smoothie tastes like a smoothie like it has that like chunky oh, okay. richness to it like it doesn't feel like you're just kind of drinking like a slush but yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's very good i only need one of those smoothies and boy oh boy oh, okay they're... now uh, obviously i i haven't heard of this place so i'm sorry for not knowing going in are all they offer is smoothies or do they have food too? no so they have so the way it works is they have a bunch of different kinds of smoothies and then you can get like wraps and like that sort of thing okay um and then like you can get like i was telling you like ginger is an add-on like you can get add-ons to your smoothies um and then yeah like they have like kind of the normal like when you go to a sub place you get like chips and they have like healthy stuff oh, like that okay. i go for the name i just go for those smoothies boy okay. i love them they're so good that was yeah. the first smoothie i've ever had and mm -hmm. i'm it's great and i with me i don't eat so so much but mm -hmm. it, that fills me up so much like it's such a good like it really fills your stomach because for like five bucks you get a smoothie like this big like you get like and it's like this wow. wide and then all mm -hmm. the add-ons are like 30 cents. So I always try to do the ginger because with my stomach issues, I'm like, well, I might oh, as well put yeah. some of it in. That was my six through four. Kevin, what do you have for us? Or what were you? All right. Well, here, once I got to the middle of the list, it, it became harder to really structure it because I, because it, it was more, like I said, it was only going up from here. So a lot of these, I had a, strong, a lot of strong positive feelings towards each of these places. 
which made it harder to try to rank them from like worst to best. Yeah. So it's really in this middle part where the list really can, can kind of get interesting. At number six, which is probably the <laughs> the hardest decision I had to make in terms of placement, because I do really love it a lot. Number six is a good old Colonel. KFC, baby. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I know, and like I said, I hate to put it at number six because, oh man. Like, honestly, like I've had places like Popeyes. If I had to choose between Popeyes and KFC, KFC will win the day, man. What is your favorite thing to get at KFC? Like, I know you, obviously it's chicken, but is it like, do you get like, like a meal or do you get like a two piece sort of thing or do you get the nuggets? I'm more of just, I love their tenders. I'm a chicken tenders guy, but two, and this goes with everything they have there, they're breading. <laughs> your face, I don't I know love it. What <laughs> go- I don't know what goes, what they put in their breading for their chicken. I could just have a bucket just of their breading skins, and I would be happy. That's how much I love their chicken breading. It's all those secret herbs and spices, dude. It's secret herbs and spices, absolutely. And um, I love their mashed potatoes and their gravy. Once again, their gravy. I don't know what they put in that gravy for the mashed potatoes, but Mamma Mia, the Colonel, the Colonel definitely went out on that one. I was trying to go for something like this with, like, the Colonel definitely, uh... He hit a he hit a soft point there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so that is number six. It was a hard decision, but I think if I as I go higher, it'll become justified as to why. Yeah. So at number five, since we were kind of already broaching this earlier, number five is Subway. E fresh. Let me count the ways of how much I adore Subway. I love that they have more choices for you than certain other submarine sandwich places do. I love their choice of bread. You get more choices of bread there. My favorite's the Italian urban cheese. Once again, that's just a thing where I go there like, I know what I want. And for me, like, I only really get one sub when I go to Subway, and that's just roast beef and and provolone. You get more choices of vegetables from, like, lettuce and, like, spinach and tomatoes and all this other stuff, and I really also love the selection of sauces they give you, and I really love, I love mayonnaise and then, um, creamy sriracha, and important, something that's another place doesn't do, is that they toast them, and it just, that is, like, it's a life or death decision, because that decision alone makes all the difference in terms of taste. I will just, I'm a hot food guy. There are very few cold foods that I will tolerate. If I'm getting a sub sandwich, I want it to be a toasty sub sandwich. It's not Subway without toasting the sub. (laughs) Yes. I just, I'm sorry, but I feel strongly about that. Plus, Jimmy John's doesn't, you don't get uh, cookies like you do at Subway. The best they give you are chips. Sure, you can get chips at Subway, but you also get white chocolate macadamia nut, double chocolatey chip. You get a whole variety, and you get two of them. You don't get two cookies at Jimmy John's. You know what I'm saying? I I sing the praises of Subway, and that's why they're up there. You were impassioned. I love that. So now I'm really excited to see what your rest of your list is, including number four, which what oh. could follow Subway? <laughs> this one might be a... Uh... <laughs> Number four, number four are the Golden Arches. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm really loving it. I Shout just... out to the Atomic Turd in McDonald's. Yes, yes, these guys did make a cameo in our last episode, the, the Planter Fry Boy. That's... Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make a probably unpopular opinion here. No one beats their fries. I don't know what they do. These fries are the best fries in the world. Wendy's fries don't stack up. Burger King fries don't stack up. Five Guys fries don't stack up. Wow. They got the right balance of crisp and salt and crunchiness and... I just... Nothing is better than McDonald's fries. In fact, I went there for fries just to do the opening bit. (laughs) Because that's how good they are. The biggest reason I like I kind of end up going to McDonald's is just convenience and affordability. Yeah. 
Like you can just get like a, like a cheeseburger, a couple cheeseburgers for like two to three dollars. That, and I also really like that they have any size drink for a dollar too. Like and I can get like a large whatever and it's still a dollar. If we were talking about like who has the best whatever, McDonald's would win number one if we said they're Coke because they are wizards and they have the best Coke on the face of the planet. Spoiler, McDonald's is not on my list. However, I have no ill will of McDonald's. I, I think okay. McDonald's is definitely one of those. Honestly, I think it's just one of those, I don't eat at it as much, and I think I got so sick and tired of it, and if I didn't get sick and tired of it, I think it'd be on the list, because like you said, I think it's affordable. It's, they're always around. Like, if you go to the middle of nowhere, there will probably be a Starbucks, and there'll be a McDonald's. So it's like- they're Inescapable, you, yeah. Yeah, they're inescapable, so. Anyway, so that is my six through four. So we are finally in the top three. So if you would like to lead us off. Yes, we are at the top three. I don't know how this is going to go because I feel like this is very anticlimactic in a way. But I think <laughs> you're going to be very surprised. And there's going to be certain things that when you finally hear them, you're going to be like, oh, okay, that's what it is. <laughs> number three. Okay. Once again, we're going to go back with number 10 when I said there's underrated places out there. And there's underrated right. places that I think people don't appreciate as much as they do. Like, you don't see a lot of these places anymore. And I think it's someplace where if you do see it once in a while, you should go there. And that is two letters, an A and a W. A and W is so good so so good whenever i see it in a food court in a mall i get really depressed because i'm like i wish i didn't eat lunch or dinner because i'm like i would so eat this right now i think i went into making this list with stricter requirements because <laughs> if i knew if that were the case a and w would have gone right at the top i can't i i love a and w with an undying persistence as is my clogged arteries you know what i'm saying they will never die both will never go away oh my God. um and it's funny we were talking about the difference between you know restaurant soda and store-bought soda i will only drink a and w root beer if it's on tap at the oh actual yeah a and w root beer like that's like that's a thing and you go for the floats anyway oh yeah like that's Hard, like that's part of the fun like it's that whole thing yeah where you go to certain places and you sh are supposed like you're supposed to get something and if you don't get that everyone kind of gives you a dirty look like you're not doing this right like get out of here <laughs> yeah like you're how can not you allowed. go to a and w and not get a root beer float no, it's it's but, a crime it should be a prosecutable crime honestly. yeah when it comes to kind of like that like cheaper kind of simpler like if i can pick it up i can pick it up I'm an A&W guy. I wish I ate there more than I usually do, but I think that's, you know, to the last surviving A&Ws, we hear you, bruh, bruh. We love you to death. But now, speaking of places that aren't dying out and they're getting bigger and there needs to be one in Michigan, it's a more Southern chain. My girlfriend introduced me to them. And ever since then, it has literally been the most game-changing thing in my life. This restaurant at number two is something that if you guys know, you understand and if you don't know you need to find out and it's called raising canes they sell th they sell three things there they sell chicken tenders curly cut fries and texas toast and let me tell you if everything there is not at least a 10 out of 10 i'd be lying because everything there is a 15 out of 10 like they are so good it's like there's just a taste and a quality to them that is unmatched and it's just one of those places where they're so simple like literally it is those are the three things the only thing you can do is like you can add on stuff or you can like have like party meals and stuff but yes it is chicken tenders the butter on the toast is so good the french fries are so good the, oh my god it's so good but yeah okay. raisin canes is dope but number one i go to this place every friday for lunch and it's funny because Kevin said earlier, what, are you a big fan of this place? And then I was like, you don't know. Because yes, it is my number one. Oh, it's Popeye's, Popeye's okay. chicken. Popeye's, I love them. I go there for the number 10, which is popcorn shrimp. I get fries and a lemonade and their biscuits. Ooh, buddy, they're so good. And the best thing is like barely anyone gets the popcorn shrimp. So when they make it for me, it's made fresh every time. And they give me like so much of it. And I'm like, yes, put it all in the box, boys. They are my go-to 
like i think everything there is stellar they're like really nice there especially when i go to like the ones that like i know are like gonna be top you know i feel like a lot of people are gonna hear me say number one and i'm gonna go on about like the chicken sandwich or whatever which hey spoiler this is gonna blow your minds i haven't had the chicken sandwich yet you haven't had their whole menu yet i haven't no i just like i said i've had chicken and I've had the shrimp because that's really kind of what it is. Okay. I haven't had like their normal chicken chicken, but yeah, I've had like their sides and stuff. Okay. Their pop, the Popeyes in Canada is wild. They have like onion rings or something there. Apparently they have <laughs> onion rings down south, but they don't have them here in Michigan. Um, but yeah, I love Popeyes. And like I said, I get the same thing there. And it's, that was my number one. So Kevin, can you share with us what the rest of your super wrong list is? Okay. Uh, well, spoiler alert, because of my my fast food bias here, they're all burger places. Is that just I'm, me? I'm a, bur- I'm a burger guy. I have a burger bias. Like I said, I've never had a bad a burger in my life. I know at least what two of them are. And I'm going to call you out on one of them. And you're, I think you're going to know which one it is when it happens. So go ahead. You might be surprised. Okay, number three. Number three is Wendy's. Wendy's, Wendy's is over or overrated. Sorry, let me do that again. <laughs> That's not what I. I to say. That's you not better what I overdo say. that again. <laughs> Wendy's is super underrated, and I do agree with that. I haven't had Wendy's in a long time, but I do agree with you. Wendy's is an underrated one. It is, and for me, it's like if you're going to Wendy's, like I already know what I get. It's a baconator every time. I don't need to get anything else. The baconator is all I need. And you also, get a frosty while you're there, the frosty, yes. I rarely get a frosty though. But uh, another thing that I love about Wendy's, man, just square patties. You get more meat. You get more meat than your average circular burger patty. Exactly. And I just, yeah. The only thing they could do better is they just they gotta go cubed patties. They gotta step up. You gotta graduate from the flat square to just a three a three D cube of meat. All right, and then number two. Uh, what I have for number two is Carl's Jr. I brought this up earlier. That's, I, so I guess I'm wrong because there was another one that I had in mind. But we'll see what happens. But Carl's Jr., okay. Yeah, man. As far as, as like the fast food burger joints are, they got some pretty gourmet burgers. And like I've been to like legit gourmet burger restaurants. Yeah. Like the higher pricey ones. But in the fast food realm... Carl's Jr. burgers are like, you can tell they put care into it. And yeah, there's like three or four burger types on the Carl's Jr. Also Hardee's, it's probably Hardee's back in Michigan, um, that I really love. Like I love their breakfast burger where it's got, you know, the burger and then the egg and you got like a ring of like these little tater tots around it. And then it's just ketchup and cheese and all that stuff. And it's like, that's all I need in a breakfast and a burger. Like the it, it's in the name and it delivers. I wonder, My favorite though is the uh, the double western bacon. That sounds good. So yeah, it's just it's just got the bacon on it and they're just they're big, they're juicy. They think like they're really like the only fast food burger where it's like you gotta have two hands to eat it. Everyone else is just like munch munch munch. No, it's like this thing's huge. I gotta like. Need, I don't know. And then there's a couple other ones I like. There's like the Famous Star, which is sort of like their base burger, but it's good. And I also love this one called the Big Carl, which is like it's a double burger and it's got some lettuce, but also has this like Thousand Island dressing between the bottom patty and the bun. Oh, yeah. In terms of, the, like I was saying, the fast food thing, like they're not just, they don't just throw it together and do whatever. Also, okay, honorable mention. I guess you could call it an equally worthy mention. You were talking about shakes earlier. Carl's Jr. shakes. Oh, si l'amour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we're talking about the fast food realm, no one does shakes better than Carl's Jr. And my favorite shake from them is the like the Oreo cookies and cream. Ooh, that I tell so them every good. time I'm able to go to Carl's Jr. and I, I get the chance, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself a little bit today. I'm going to get a shake. I'm like... Load that bad boy up with Oreo. I want it to be so thick, I'm like chewing on it while I'm sipping it. I want that's it how to, much Oreo I want it to I want look as shake. thick as a thick white woman. Okay. I w- <laughs> Something that's 
thick. I'm like, you could call it. I'll probably I'll go there next time. I'm like, if we're talking about thick, I want it Kim K thick. Yo, that's how just, thick I want. Yo, it. he said Kim K thick. That's wild. All right, so you ready for number one? I kind of am. I'm. I'm. I think you may know which one this because is because I feel like see. I still have both my choices. One of them, I won't be as upset with you, but I'm not upset with you either way if you pick the other Okay. One. So, the number one fast food place on my list, shout out to my Californian homeboys, in and out Burger. Thank you so much for not having Chick-fil-A on your list. You were expecting Chick-fil-A. I was going to say Chick-fil-A to psych you out. I was. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> just kidding. Here's here's the, the top three things that make the California experience for me personally. That is the Beach Boys, LA Traffic, and In N Out Burger. That's Cal that's all you need to know about California in a nutshell. But oh yeah, man, we're talking about the perfect intersection of quality, affordability, and customization, all that stuff. It's just And I've never known a fast food place with such a cultural identity to its region than in and out Burger. Oh, Like, yeah. not just... I mean, because it originated in California. It was started in California in the late 40s. But basically, the West Coast, from, like, Southern California to maybe, like, parts of... Uh, or even the Southwest. You got, like, Arizona. You got some in New Mexico. That whole place. But it's just... Yeah, in and outs definitely a West... A Southwest, West Coast thing. And yeah, man, that crap slaps, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I will use that word when unironically. When you get Kevin saying young people slang, you know it's real. <laughs> I'll shed my my boomer mantle just for that one instance. But yeah, that stuff slaps, man. The burgers are good to handle. You can get them. They're the ones where you can get like secret menu things that you can ask for. I was going to say, I've heard secret menu things about like their french fries. Like you can get like crazy french fry combinations or something with the secret menu. Yeah. Yeah. They have a thing called Animal Fries, which isn't a secret menu, but Animal Fries are really popular. It's yeah. You get, like, cheese melt. You get fries. You get cheese melted over them. You get, like, this cheese, like, the, the in and out dressing that they get, which is, like, the secret sauce. And you get some onions peppered in there, but it's, okay. like, animal-style fries. Another secret menu item I like to get is I, get, I like to ask for my fries well done, so they're just extra greasy and extra crispy. Ooh. Uh, you can, uh, stack your burger up a little bit, so they only go up to, like, a double burger, which is called a double-double. That's their speak for it. But you can ask for, like, an extra, like, an extra patty. It's, like, an extra, it's a dollar per extra patty. You can go up to, like, four. So you get, like, they call it a, like, a, like, a, f like, a burger like that where it's four patties and four slices of cheese. They call it a four-by-four. Four. <laughs> but, like, so, like I said, like, an extra patty is a dollar, an extra slice of cheese is 50 cents. Which I know is like, that's highway robbery. Yeah, but it's like, you're already getting enough. So it's like, you don't really care about the extra price if you need to. But I always get, I'd get like a four by two. So it's four patties, two slices of cheese. But it's just like, man, I love it. I love everything about it. in and out Burger, just normally like, you're more going there for more than just the food. Like it's just, it's like part of the California experience. I know that's like a really nerdy thing to say, but it's the best way I can put it. Like I'm not, like I'm saying like, it's not like you go to like McDonald's and you're like, oh man, this is like, you know, pure Michigan. Hashtag pure Michigan uh, tourist campaign. It's a thing with a regional identity attached to it. Well, it's And that's like, the case with in and out And the, yeah, and like you were saying, it's one of those rare instances where I'm going to tell you right now, and this is not an insult. I don't know where Burger King started because Burger King is not like a locational thing. It's just a, we're Burger King. Whereas like with Popeyes and with what you were saying, and even like Raising Cane's is kind of like that too. Or like, you know, there's a lot of places like that where you think of a place, you know where it is. And it's that sort of thing. And you know where it's home is. In and out is, like you said, it's California. And it's like a cult it's like a cultural touchstone too. It is and it's definitely and that's part of their marketing. That's part yeah. of their marketing too. So what a poetic way to end this video is that our top two are cultural touchstones of where they're from. But yes, right. Those are our ten. I just did 10 of my favorite places. Kevin did like seven and then he crapped on two and then he had an okay one. But hey, it's fine. We did two different lists. So you guys can kind of do the same in the comments. Do you just have 10 places you love or do you actually legitimately have a, this is the worst place and this is the best place. 
either one is fine and leave them in the comments below because we want to know both of them i don't care either way uh you know like subscribe you know all the socials official uaof everywhere besides youtube well they'll YouTube. they'll be up on screen anyway. yeah they'll be up we'll, on, we'll screen. on screen youtube.com yeah. slash us and our friends you don't need to care about that though that's just something you tell the fans but we're worst yeah it's, it's something you tell everybody yeah. but we're still trying to break in that new url when we hit 100 subscribers if you have a group of friends and you're like yo you know youtube.com slash us and our friends it rolls off the tongue better <laughs> but yeah official uaof pretty much everywhere else i know you guys enjoyed watching two fast food connoisseurs that you know we should easily just get our own food network show because we talk so beautifully about fast food i know but, we did we really kind of dissected it like the way the uh coroner will dissect my clogged arteries when they do my autopsy i don't when i die i don't like how many <laughs> artery jokes you've made it makes me worried that like you haven't told me something that it, you've been like that's been going on like this whole time you've been like crying for help like brian my arteries are clogged i'm not gonna be alive that's how that i longer. cope with misery and death it's all about humor no don't worry i'm not a heart attack waiting to happen it's just because i'm i'm a little i'm a little chub chub so the jokes the hits are convenient for my comedic timing so it's not a, it's not a cry for help it's not so a cry for help. so make sure if you guys tweet out this video or put it on facebook make sure you put the hashtag thick goddess kevin or thick queen kevin oh that rolls off the tongue better put up thick queen kevin because kevin is our thick queen He's out here like, oh, I'm a little bigger. It's okay. He's our thick queen. We already know. Gang, gang. Also, know. can we also throw in hashtag Kim K thick? Kim K I just want to. I want to get that crap trending. Okay. So anything to <laughs> literally just think. You know what? Instead of that, just think of anyone you think is thick and just put hashtag insert name thick. What are you saying earlier, guys? Get down on that comment section. We yes. really need some user engagement. Yes. Get some discussions going in the comment section. We need... Leave us stuff for future videos, guys. We need that feedback from our audience because we, yeah, we've we need kind those of been subscribers in to come to our videos and engage and tell us or just say, you know, our lists are whack. I don't care if you do that. Just I know, tell us yeah. something. All right. Sorry. We can formally end the video now. Yes. Okay. Bye. Kisses. Mm.